buy a 3D printer before watching this video. Today I'm going to show you all you need to know before buying a 3D printer. Or if you already have a 3D printer and you are having any difficulties, I'm going to help you. It's nothing like the cost of having an AC unit on. It's more like a TV terms of electricity usage. Yes, it prints useful things, not just junk. And the most important, you never have to buy a gift again in your life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> on a more serious note, let me show you some important topics you need to know about and understand before you buy a 3D printer. First off, you need to know what you want to print. But I don't know yet, Carol. There are two main different technologies for 3D printing, which are resin and filament like these two. Resin is used mainly for really small or very heavily detailed pieces. They are the go-to option in jewelry and dentists, FYI. Filament printers are more versatile because there's a lot more options for filament than there is for printables resin. With the filament printers, possibilities are endless. From the hobbyist who will print toys and decoration pieces, the engineer who will use to print prototypes and advanced testing assets. This is the kind of printer we'll focus on this video, the filament one. Let's talk about filament. Remember I told you you need to know what you like to print? So for filament printers, the most used material is called PLA, has the most friendly temperatures and settings to work with. So to answer one of our most common questions of which material you should start with, start with PLA. File. This before it was a printed piece as it is now, it started as a 3D model in a modeling software created by an artist. That's why we also call it a model, because it's a model. This file can be in many formats. We can go further on this topic in another video, so tell us in the comments. But to keep things chart, the most common file extension is the STL. That's why you are at STL Flix's channel, which is a platform with over 1,500 STLs for you to print. Awesome, right? And you must be wondering, how did this came from my computer to my hands? And that is through a step called slicing. <laughs> Swing! The 3D file is not yet a command the printer can understand. After all, it's a machine like any other. It needs coordinates that will tell it what movement to make. That's why we take that file and open it inside a software called Slicer. This software will create a lot of cuts, slices if you will, that the printer will use to create the piece by depositing materials layer by layer at the designated spots. Calibration. A 3D printer can make layers with 0.1 millimeter with. So imagine how tiny and precise it needs to operate. Every single detail matter. The temperature will melt the plastic at, the speed will print it at, and every other setting. All these operations must be tested, and this process is what we call calibration. A calibration example is testing which is the ideal temperature to melt the filament. I am linking in the description a video in which I made the complete calibration with a filament that has wood fibers in it. It is important to know that these topics are a guide to help you get into the 3D printing world and have a lot of fun. But to make sure you will have high quality prints, I recommend you to look further in each of these steps. And to make your life even easier, we have our Print Like a Pro method, which is a course that will teach you everything about these topics and way more. All the links will be available in the description. And if you have any questions about the video or if you feel like there's any information missing, tell us down below and we will talk about it in the next video. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye-bye!